when a customer places an order through Automate Online, they'll automatically receive an email confirming the order. Shortly after, they'll get an SMS which tells them how long the order is going to be. In order for the customer to find out how long their order is going to be, the POS needs to send them back the ETA time. This can be done automatically or it can be done manually. To set it automatically, we're just going to go into the system admin, go to system and set account ETA. This is where all the ETA settings are done. Here under ETA options, we can choose always use current ETA. When it's in this mode, the system's going to respond to every incoming order with the current ETA. I'm going to set it to 35 minutes and set an OK. Now when I place an order through Automate Online, the customer is going to receive an SMS without any interaction from the staff at the POS. Just go through the checkout process. Now in our POS, you'll see that uh, there's no interaction required and my order has appeared here under previous sales, which indicates that it's already printed to the kitchen prep area or the KTS screens required. Now say I wanted to use the manual mode for setting the ETA. In order to do that, I would just go into system admin. I'd go back into my set account ETA screen and under ETA options, I'm gonna choose the always ask for ETA and set an okay. Now let's take a look at what happens next time a customer places an order. So I'll order a pizza. This time, in the pause, you'll notice that the online tab is flashing and there's a new order flashing here to indicate that a staff member needs to come and give it attention. So this order is already printed to the KTS or the kitchen prep screens or the kitchen printers. Um, and I can click in here as a staff member, view the order, hit save. I can see here the time that the customer has actually requested the order for and the current ETA is 40 minutes in the system. However, I can choose to set whatever ETA I want to report back to the customer. If I want to switch the system back to automatic mode, it's really easy again. I just need to go into system admin, go to my set account ETA and edit my ETA options to be always use current ETA.